Hey guys, welcome back to Luna Kimaru. Thank you for sticking around. So, uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of story time. But, and it's mostly targeted at ladies. And, yeah, and uh, if you're a guy, you could also watch the video. You could help, it could help get more insight into what women go through. And maybe you could advise your sisters, your, your aunties, your cousins you know, or the women in your life, so it, it's definitely important. Uh, so, yeah, the video is just about getting checked up as women because of uh, our reproductive health can have a lot of issues. So back in 2017, I was just okay. I was in Eldoret, I'm fine, I'm doing well. And then I, I felt some pain on my left side. And I thought to myself, oh, that could be... I am ovulating or something because sometimes I would feel some, you know, some level of, I don't know what to call it when I'm ovulating, yeah, a discomfort or something. But then I was like, no, this is a little bit too much. So the first day I felt it, I was like, oh, maybe it's ovulation. And then the second day I feel it, I'm like, no, this doesn't feel right. So I decided to go to hospital to referral. And when I went to hospital, I was told I was uh, they scanned, and then I was told that I had um, a cyst, and actually it was a big cyst. So the doctor who was reading the results for me was like, oh my god, this needs to be done quick, fast, quick, fast. If you don't do it very soon, like they told me that I need to be even to, I need surgery. And by the time I was leaving the hospital, and then also because it's a public hospital, the guy was like, oh, you know, if this doesn't happen uh, soon, it's going to get worse. And then he's like, also, you know, here, the gynecologist, you'll, it will take you a long time to see the gynecologist. I can plan for you, go to the private part of the hospital and get a gynecologist to see you immediately, just come tomorrow. So uh, there's a family friend who is a doctor uh, I consulted with through my brother. And... Um, yeah, so the the guy told me just bring the results to me, and I went with the results to him, and he referred me to a gynecologist in uh, what is it called Eldoret Hospital. I go to Eldoret Hospital. I am told like, oh, we can't use this scan. We need another scan. So I do another scan, and this time, uh, like it was a very thorough scan. Uh, they realized I have a cyst on my left side and another one on the right side. The left side was like 8 centimeters, the right one was around 3 centimeters or something. So the doctor said 8 centimeters is too big, it's either you'll go through surgery or we'll put you under medication and you know just observe you and see. So I think for like the next couple of months, close to a year, I was put under medication. And anyway, in every time I went to hospital, I would go get check, go for a scan, and I would be given medication. And every time I went back, I would go. I think after every two, was it two months or three months, something like that, and I would be given medication for another whole month. But the good thing about it was every time I went, the cyst had decreased in size and at some point i was so impatient i was like can't we just do the surgery the doctor was like no you know what this thing is actually decreasing in size so there's no need for for surgery you know i was like oh god thank god uh anyway and so i kept going back getting the scans getting medication and all that the reason why I'm, I'm doing this video, I feel like a lot of times women usually we experience a lot of reproductive health issues, and we actually don't go to the hospital get to get check checkups just because you don't feel pain or you know or something. You're just like ah, I'm okay, and sometimes these women who usually have very bad abdominal cramps during their menses and because we've grown up in a society where we've normalized pain and especially pain for women in the context of reproductive health if you tell people you have like very bad cramps sometimes people don't understand and even yourself you stigmatize yourself and even other women tell you like hey it's a passing cloud it will go away and i know of people who've had endometriosis and they've had severe pains every time they have their cramps and just because sometimes you know yeah it's normal to have period pains doesn't mean it's normal to have those severe cramps because i remember even like uh, when i was in high school there was this girl in our class 
who would have very bad cramps, she would even sleep on the floor. And sometimes she would go get an injection so that she could feel better. I hope she's okay now. But what I'm trying to drive at, we should not necessarily normalize some of these things because it could be you have stuff like endometriosis or you have stuff like those cyst fibroids and all that. I'm not an expert, just giving a story from my personal experience. Yeah, so uh i i went to the doctors and i think after a year the cyst had actually disappeared so the last checkup i went in 2018 i was told that you know they are done they are gone and you're good to go and i was super excited about that but over time uh the one thing that really stuck with me when i went to that hospital the first time was uh the doctor asked me do you have a baby are you married? Are you planning to have children? And then so after that, I've gone to the hospital a couple of times. And uh, when I do, when I've gotten scans uh, a couple of times, yeah, I think in 2019 also I had another cyst, not big. And also I, I asked the doctor about the, the, the cyst. They're like, if it's not more than five centimeters, it's not life threatening. And also how cysts, cysts, cysts are, uh, See, uh, how cysts form, I've written that on my blog from some research I did, I'll link it down below and then you can just go read what cysts are and all that, yeah, so anyway, I, I told, um, so, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Yeah, so I've gone to the doctors like in 2019, I went back and I had a small cyst, it was like 3 centimeters. I was given some drugs and it was gone. And then now in 2021, I also was like, oh, by the way, I should, uh, I should just go for a checkup. I had like severe cramps. I was like, I should go for a checkup. That was like end of last year. And when I went, I realized, oh, I had a cyst. It was also three centimeters, just a small one, no, no, no big deal. But then every time I go to the hospital and I uh, am getting scanned, there's always the case of, oh, how old are you? Do you have a husband? <laughs> or are you planning, mostly it's, are you planning to have a baby? Uh, and stuff like that. So the thing is, when you get these cysts, Sometimes I was asking the gynecologist and they say sometimes it can interfere with your fertility and stuff like that or make it a little bit uh, harder for you to conceive, which is why I feel like people should actually go for these checkups. So last year when I went, I realized I had a cyst and then I was like, oh my goodness, since I don't have a baby, maybe now it's now time to actually check also my fertility so i went to a guy now i went to a gynecologist i was like oh by the way i need to check on my i think i i explained to them my issue and i felt like i i need just need to get some checkup and then anyway, they recommended they were like oh maybe what you need is to check for your uh whether how your fertility is and they recommended some some uh what is it called something some scan i think it is a hsg or something yeah where they check your fertility and all that that thing was excruciating to go through but the good thing is at the end of the day i got the results i took them to the gynecologist and they were like oh you don't have any issues you see what i'm trying to get at is sometimes you could be seated somewhere you are wondering oh why maybe am i not getting kids or maybe you're even planning for for your for children and stuff like that or even you're just going through those very bad cramps and maybe you could have an underlying issue but you don't know simply because either these things have been normalized or we take them too lightly, even ourselves, when we're going through such kind of stuff. And sometimes, also with cysts, sometimes they just come and go. You don't, you won't, you wouldn't even notice. But at the end of the day, we are not doctors, and but there's that's the reason we have doctors out here. These people who can take care of us, these people who can look at our reproductive health and tell us like, are we okay? Are we not okay? What do we need to do? So I feel like every year, somebody should just go for like a general kind of reproductive health, you know, uh, check up to just know, uh, are you okay? What needs to be done? Because I feel like women are very vulnerable to from getting stuff like UTIs, even getting yeast infections, like simple, simple things like those, you know, they can even end up affecting you in a way you did not 
anticipate so at the end of the day it's it's really important to just check on your health the same way you would have a headache and you go get a painkiller or you go to a doctor and tell them hey it's severe and they'll recommend something for you it's the same way you should not abandon your reproductive health even if you're okay once a year just go for a checkup and you know understand how your body works okay uh, and also sometimes the one thing I also realized as I was going through all doc these doctors and gynecologists sometimes these people have like different or varying kind of opinions and there are those who might even put you on medication that you might not need so depending on your situation or how things are there's always a, um, it's your body and it's important to seek for a second opinion if you feel like hey this is not working for me so just just know there is people who can take care of you and if you need a second opinion go for it so anyway i hope you found this video insightful as i said i will link uh, my blog below where i wrote a, a piece on my experience and a while back and then you can get to read it and get more insight on uh, what to look out for and stuff like that. I hope you found this video insightful. Thank you for watching my video until the next one. Bye